In this video, we're looking at what's known as a geometric series to infinity. So we're looking at what's known as an infinite series, one that continues on forever and ever and ever, which has no last term. But let's picture a separate case. Let's picture a case when we have an infinite geometric series. So infinite means it goes on forever, but in fact does have a final sum. There's a particular case where this happens. And in these particular cases, the common ratio that we're examining must be uh, less than one. So my common ratio in these questions that we're going to examine now must be, or the, the true value of my common ratio, the positive value must be less than one. So what do we mean by this? Take for example, um, the ratio one plus a half, plus a quarter, plus an eighth, plus a sixteenth, and so on and so on and so on. So I'm adding this uh, sequence together. I'm creating a series out of it and it goes to infinity. If we picture this here, each of my values is getting smaller and smaller and smaller. So if we want to look at what, how I'm going from one term to the next, which is known as my common ratio, uh, which stands for or, to get that common ratio, it's the same as before, we take any term in our sequence and we divide it by the previous term. So for instance, if I want to take um, term here, what's this term? Term four, and I divide that by term three. So I'm taking term four, and I'm going to divide it by term three. So that's getting one over eight divided by one over four. So that's giving me a common ratio here of one half. So that's how I'm going from term to term. So how I want you to picture this sequence, imagine you're standing here in a room, you're at the front of the room, and at the back of the room, there's a wall. And I'm asking you to get from the front of that room where you're standing to the back of the wall. In order to do that, let's picture it this way. So you're standing here at the front, we call that you, that's one. You have to go all the way to the back of the room. In order to get to the back of the room, what do you have to do? You have to get halfway to the back of the room. And then in order to get to halfway to the back of the room, you have to go halfway to there, which is going to be a quarter of the distance of the back of the room. And to get to that quarter, you have to get halfway to there, which is going to be one eight. And I hope you can see that this is gonna continue on and on. In order to get to that, one eight, you have to go halfway to there, which is going to be one sixteenth. And then it continues. You have to go halfway to the one sixteenth, which is one thirty twos. So you're continuing to get smaller and smaller and smaller. And the theory has been here is you actually get to the back of the room because you're getting smaller and smaller and smaller, but you're actually never actually getting there. So what this is known as, this is called the convergence. You're converging on a particular value. Um, but you're never actually getting to that exact value. So if I'm adding all these terms, one and a half, a quarter, an eight, a sixteen, to thirty-two, a sixty-four, all the way to infinity, they're going to actually add to a value. Well, get extremely close to a value, but not exactly that value. And that value is what we're calling it's convergent on that value. So we're going to prove that here now with this sequence. What do I actually get when I add all these together? Now, on page 32 in our log tables, we have, or sorry, 22 in our log tables, we have a formula which is given as the sum to infinity. So that formula, let's just write it down from our log tables, is given as the sum to infinity, S for sum, infinity symbol, which is equal to A over one minus R. Now we've seen these symbols before, let's just go through them again. A stands for the first term and or stands for the common ratio. What am I going up in each time? So if I go back to my sequence here, what was our sequence? So it is one plus a half plus a quarter plus an eight plus a sixteenth and so on and on and so on to infinity. Here we said that our a, our first term was one and our common ratio was taking any term in the sequence, dividing it by the term in front of it and I took an eight and I divided it by a term in front of it, which was a quarter, and I got a half as my common ratio. So when I take my formula now, I'm finding the sum to infinity. I don't actually have a set amount of terms. There's infinite amount of terms in this sequence. And I fill that in, A is my first term one, and I'm putting that over one minus my common ratio, which is one half. So that's giving me the sum to infinity of one over a half, and when I divide one by a half, I get the sum to infinity of zero point, or sorry, I get the sum to infinity of two. 
So if I add all the values, one plus a half plus a quarter plus an eight plus a 16 plus a one over 32 plus a one over 64, I'll eventually get very, 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 very close to the value two. And as we said, that value is what's known as convergent. It's convergent on the value two. Okay, so that's our video on uh, infinite series.